Hey everybody, welcome to the Wild Dog Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be a look inside our brand new Summer Olympics bundle of learning that's fun and games. So in this bundle, you are going to receive a Olympics overview and sample lesson plans. So it tells you in which order you should, you should complete the mini units. And then what you could do if you're doing them two days a week, three days a week, four days a week, or five days a week in my recommendations for that. And then you are going to receive four mini units. Now, each of these mini units are designed to go along with these books. However, you could probably use other books if you have them on hand. They just may not be able to complete every single activity. So the four mini units included are the What are the Summer Olympics to go along with this book. Who was Jesse Owens mini unit study to go along with this book. Who are Venus and Serena Williams mini unit study to go along with this one. And who is Michael Phelps mini unit study to go along with this book. And then as a bonus, we have some printable Olympic games. Some examples of those are a word scramble an A through Z challenge, fact or fake, all about the Olympic games, guess the Olympic mascots, guess the Olympic logos, guess the Olympic flags, guess the Olympic sport, emoji Pictionary Olympics, some Olympics trivia, an Olympic maze, some ideas to host your own Olympics at home, and Olympic bingo game. In case you're unfamiliar with what each of our mini units includes, let's go ahead and also take a closer look at that. So this is specifically the What are the Summer Olympics mini unit study, which keep in mind is only one of four included in this bundle. So you are going to get this resource page, which is one of my favorite things about our mini units. Um, it is going to include additional book suggestions. All of these are clickable links. It is going to include a YouTube playlist and a Pinterest board with craft ideas. There are QR codes to scan as well as clickable links, additional shows, videos, or movies, additional games. So if you wanted to add some games to this mini unit and then additional suggestions for things like maybe how to create your own Olympics or ancient Olympics for kids to read or a quiz they can take about it. So just other things that would basically enhance this unit study are available on this resource page. Then there is a custom coloring page that Kevin hand draws for each and every one of our mini units. That is another one of my favorite things. Emily absolutely adores coloring these. The Summer Olympics is one of my top. Then we have copy work. This copy work is going to be either a quote from the famous person or facts about the topic. The copy work is available in tracing, print, and cursive. So you can make sure that your kids are getting that on whatever level they're on. Then we have a notebooking page. So here we have what are the Summer Olympics. Draw a picture and write a summary of what takes place during the Summer Olympics. There will be a biography for each of the people. There is always mapping of some kind. It will either be a US map or a world map depending on you know, what the event is and who the person is. So they will be working on map skills. Fun activity pages like word searches with answer keys as well as crossword puzzles also with answer keys. A timeline activity so that they can do the timeline of the Olympics. Now in the back of all of these books is always a timeline. So they can either try to do it from memory or copy important events from there. The choice is yours. And then I also always include a trivia card game. 
So what we like to do is cut these trivia questions out and then play them almost like we would just a trivia game, like around the table, lunch, dinner, whatever. I'll ask the questions and kind of see who remembers what. Um, if we get the answer correct, we keep the card. And then whoever has the most cards at the end is who we declare the winner. You can do it however you want, but it's basically just trivia questions with answers to, you know, check reading comprehension. Then we also include a timeline matching game. Now using those same timelines from the back of these books, I've created a game you can play multiple different ways. You can flip all the cards over and play memory. So if you flipped over 7,005 BC and ancient Olympics began in Olympia, Greece, then you would have got the match and you can win. We've also done it before where I spread all of the numbers out in what would be a life-size timeline. And then Emily has to match the events to that date. 